Hello everybody, I'm in the little wood, also known as Martin. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Minecraft Dungeons. So today's video is pretty simple. I've managed to find all 10 secrets hidden throughout Minecraft Dungeons, which will lead to the unlocking of a secret level. So before you can go hunting for these, you need to have completed the game at least once on the lowest difficulty to unlock the second difficulty known as Adventure Mode. The secrets just don't work otherwise. It's as simple as that. So now you're in Adventure Mode, head to the church in the lobby. The way to get to this is to go past the house which is on the right hand side of the lobby, you go over the spring pad pistons and you'll come across a broken nether portal which I'm pretty sure is for future DLC content. From there you want to swing a left and go through the tree line and then voila, there you go. Now upon entering the church you'll find a dog painting on the far back wall as you pass all of the chairs. Clicking on this will basically show you an image clue as well as play an audio sound and this is all from the level that the secret resides in. It's pretty handy. Continuing past this you'll reach the final room of the church which basically basically has a giant golden button. Above it there are 10 runic symbols and for simply finding this room you've gotten the first one. Now before I show you where these 9 secrets are I really think you'd be missing out on the experience of finding them for yourselves and I do have one massive tip that will make it way easier if you want to give it a go. And it's actually really simple, we noticed that just about every single room that had a secret hiding within it actually stayed the same orientation every single time you play through the level. If you don't understand what I mean, basically the way that dungeon seems to be made up as a game is that it puts together big chunks of the level, but what it will occasionally do is rotate those parts of the level so they seem a little bit different, but actually they've just moved 45 degrees, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, whatever it may be. But you could probably see where this is going. Basically, the only rooms that never change are the first room, the last room, and the secret room. And as soon as we had this realization, we found them so much quicker in every single level. So there you go. There's my massive tip. There's my last plea for you to try and do it for yourselves but if you still want to be a cheaty pt then here is where you can find all of the secrets beginning with number one in the creeper woods so for this one you're going to need to get to the very end of the level where you start freeing the villagers from the wooden cages there's about six of them if i remember correctly if you go all the way to the left side of this area and then go down the screen you'll find a suspicious stone platform just by itself in the middle of a tree line all you need to do is step on the center of this and the platform will fall away the shrine will start to shine its light out and if you click on it you'll enter and you'll find your first rune. Now obviously this secret sits right at the end of a level but just so you know once you've triggered a secret you don't have to successfully complete the rest of the level in order to cash it in. We tried all sorts of stuff we tried dying on bosses and that didn't seem to wipe it out and even literally hitting the pause menu pressing back to camp also didn't get rid of it so that's great. Anyway let's move on to secret number two in pumpkin pastures. So during the course of this level, there's a very distinctive stone castle wall. It has a couple of arches at the top of it. And not only do you get loot by rolling across the valley to reach the base of it where the grass is, but if you go across the top of this wall, you'll notice that there's some slightly miscolored bricks at the end there by one of the towers. Right by that, behind some wooden crates, you can see just a little corner of a switch. Give that a press, the wall opens, the rune is yours. Secret number three, Soggy Swamp. So after you've defeated the cauldron at the end of the level, you want to proceed to the exit, but stop just before you get to the end. On the top right side of the screen, there is a giant tower. At the base of it, there's a bunch of mushrooms, and among those mushrooms, you can find a secret switch. Give it a press, the mountain in front of you will open up, and the next rune is yours. Secret number four, Cacti Canyon. So there's a portion of this level where you need to defeat groups of enemies in order to acquire both a blue key and a yellow key. Luckily for us, we only have to defeat the first wave of enemies to open the gate to get to where the blue key resides. And just before you go through those gates, if you look slightly to the left hand side, there is a palm tree. At the base of it, there's a button. Press the button and right behind the blue key, the wall will open up and another rune is yours. Secret number five the redstone mines. So during the course of this level, there's a couple of times where you have to free enslaved villagers. You simply walk over to them, click on them, and the chains break and they're free. Now what you're looking for here is the part of the level where you have to free six of them in order to progress. This is what the map looks like. And once you're in this room, simply go to the far left hand side of it in the corner. And you'll notice that just behind a couple of those redstone gems, there's a secret little switch. Give it a press, the wall opens, rinse, repeat. Secret number six the desert temple. This was maybe one of the easiest to find simply because the church dog picture actually gave us an image of both a golden key and some cracked sandy floor and it really is as simple as that. As soon as you pick up that key and the wall behind you closes and the wall to the next room opens, go through into there and in the top corner of that room there is a lever on the wall. Pull it down, the shrine reveals itself and another rune is yours. Secret number seven, 
the Fiery Forge. Now, even though this is one of the later levels, this is without a doubt the quickest one to find yet. All you've got to do is start the level outside, slash through a couple of monsters, and when you very first enter the mountain, you'll notice this redstone golem spread out on the floor, and there's a giant beam of light coming down on him. That is what basically the clue is. And then from there, there's a lever on the wall just nearby. You pull it, and you're done. Secret number eight, High Block Halls. This was the level clue that I was a little bit confused by because we couldn't figure out what the picture was. Turns out in the end, it was an unlit torch. And in addition to that, there was also loads of wind blowing in the sound effects. That makes it very obvious that this is outside. And there's only one area that's outside through this whole level to memory. It's this weird small market or village. Not really sure what to call it. But either way, head up the stairs on the far right hand side of this area. At the top, you'll find an unlit torch. You click it, the wall opens, another rune. And then finally, in the obsidian pin, Cool. it is secret number nine this is without a doubt the most annoying one simply because the room is visible on the map as unexplored even back in the lowest difficulty setting but you can't act on it until now so for this one you want to enter the indoor area of the level for the first time and you'll come across this room which looks like a mixture between like a tavern and a library it's classy but then also trashy don't really know what it's meant to be but either way go to the far right hand side of this area at the top of the stairs you're going to find a wall of bookcases and you can clearly see on the map that there's something on the other side click on one of the books the wall opens and it's yours but what's weird about this one is it doesn't actually take you to a crazy purple dimension of mist in order to collect the final rune instead you actually get some bonus loot in two chests so there you have it you found all the secrets now head back to the church press the golden button and all of the rune symbols will light up and the wall will open step through claim your prize of the secret level and some extra goodies as well and i hope this information was helpful if it was then be sure to leave a like on the video have a wonderful day let me know if there's any minecraft content you want to see me playing at the moment we recently played through the minecraft harry potter map from the flu network i've been doing some 3d modeling on stream creating the arc in 3d that was pretty fun but yeah let me know down below and i'll see you in a bit Ta-ra.